Okay, so we're going to take a kettlebell arm bar, and we're going to show you how to manipulate it and tweak it just a little bit so you can emphasize both internal and external shoulder rotation. Some of this is kind of counterintuitive because the way it looks doesn't actually support what you're trying to achieve with shoulder range motion, so pay attention. So go ahead and, and stay in supine. Give me a, a, a supine arm bar. Okay, so before he rolls into the arm bar, he's got to take a breath in because what we're going to do is we're actually going to push the airflow posteriorly as he rolls by head motion and arm motion. So it looks like he's getting an up pump handle as he rolls into the arm bar, but what he's actually doing is pushing the airflow backwards to support external rotation of the shoulder. So go ahead and do that. Take your breath and then roll into it, externally rotate, but keep your eyes on the kettlebell. So now what we have is dorsal rostral expansion emphasizing external rotation of the shoulder. Now, as you roll back, I want you to exhale, internally rotate, and then take your other breath. And now we're getting pump handle, and now we're getting internal rotation. So the sequence of the breathing matters, the position of the arm matters, and the position of the neck matters. But you can manipulate this to emphasize both internal and external shoulder rotation. Three, two, one, video over. <laughs>